What does the phrase Netflix and chill mean to you? <laughs> uh, it means that the fans have created and adopted something and ran with it and we think it's hysterical. With that said, when was the last time that you Netflix and chilled? <laughs> <laughs> That's for me to know. <laughs>of Netflix do you watch per day? Uh, typically uh, at least two hours a day, use sometimes a lot more, uh, but not the same episode you're watching because we're watching the episodes as they're being delivered. I don't get to binge as much as you do. What is your favorite Emmys memory? Uh, well it has to be the, the David Fincher's win for uh, for House of Cards, which was our first primetime Emmy. Speaking of House of Cards, that was your first show. What do you remember about the pitch for that? Um, I remember about three minutes into it saying, we're saying yes, have a poker face, but we definitely want this to happen. We definitely want this to be at Netflix. This year at the Cannes Film Festival was Netflix's big film debut. What does that mean for the industry, having Netflix in that game? We're in the business of making great movies, and Cannes is in the business of programming them. So in that way, we're totally, totally aligned. In three words, how would you describe season two of Stranger Things? Uh, satisfying, delivers, and fun. Same question in three words. How would you describe season two of 13 Reasons Why? Uh, deeper dive. That's two words. Okay. <laughs> uh, deeper dive and uh, authentic. Were you surprised to the reaction to 13 Reasons Why? We're really proud of the fact that the world is talking about a very important topic and we think it's been important. Everyone is just so nice until they drive you to kill yourself and sooner or later the truth will come out. Will we see any crossover from the Marvel MCU into Netflix's shows? Uh, it's, it's always a, a natural, and there's a little subtle hints throughout both the Marvel Universe and the Defenders Universe, uh, but whether or not they become more explicit or not, we'll have to see. Who do you think are Netflix's biggest competitors? Um, sleep. <laughs> and time. <laughs> what was the last TV show that you binge watch? I know you said you don't get a lot of time to binge watch. No, I use it. I don't get a chance to binge as much because we watch the episodes in real time as they're being delivered. Uh, but my wife will, will sometimes, you know, will want to see these shows as well. And I, we binge watched Friends from College in two nights, mm -hmm. the entire season. What are you guys doing? Just doing slow motion. Slow mo. It's really cool. Like a slow mo. Yeah, and like blink slow. Yeah. Okay, now just for fun, your final question. What was the last DVD that you had rented from Netflix? Oh, the last DVD? It's been a while since I got a DVD from Netflix, to be honest with you. But I bet it was the director's cut of Blood Simple, the Coen Brothers movie, uh, which I think is beyond one of the great movies of all time. It's one of the great director's cuts because it's the first one I remember ever being shorter than the theatrical release. Yeah.